morning, good afternoon, and good evening once again, everyone. Welcome back to another one of our Seniors Fitness programs from home. As promised last uh, session, I said that we would be splitting last session and today's sessions up in between upper body and lower body. Last session was lower body, so today we're going to be working our upper body. And that means a lot of work for your rotator cuff and your shoulders as well. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with some warm-up drills for the arms and for the shoulders. I want you to reach out to the side with your right arm. I want you to actively stretch the shoulder blade away from the midline of the body and then contract or retract the shoulder blade. So we're going to reach and then we're going to pull it back. We're going to reach and pull it back. We'll do that for 10 and a moderate pace, 9, 8. So what we're really looking for here, five, a 7, Six is to have mobility or movement, six in your shoulder blade. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's drop that arm, do the same thing with the other for 10, nine, actively reaching, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now when you reach forwards with both arms, we're going to pull the shoulders back and then stretch them forward. We won't let them rise, we won't pull them down, we'll just keep them neutral. So forwards and backwards for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'd like for you to draw the largest circles you could possibly draw with your arms and it's okay if you don't have the same range of motion as me or if you've got better range of motion with me, or as me, we're slowly going to make those circles a little bit smaller. And as they become smaller, we're gonna make them quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And by the way, if your shoulders bother you when you're doing these circles, try and actively twist or rotate the hands back so thumbs point backwards as you do this. So you engage some of the rotator cuff muscles as well. Great, then we're gonna finish out with a 90 degree angle in our arms. We're gonna rotate. Just the forearms and hands forwards and backwards 10 times without moving the elbows. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'd like for you to tuck your chin into your chest now. Let's get started on getting a gentle stretch in our neck. I would like for you to interlace your fingers and just place them behind your head. Now it looks like I'm cranking my head down with my hands. I'm not. My, my chin is already in my chest. I'm gently placing my hands against my, the base of my skull and I'm pressing upwards with my head against the resistance of my hands. So there's active contraction of the muscles in your neck. And what we're going to do here is slowly bring those elbows closer and closer together. As you do that, you probably notice that your shoulder blades separate and you end up getting a stretch in your neck without actually pulling the head down. So you can exit that position. I want you to look up as high as you can, close your jaw, so you're stretching the muscles from your jawline down to your collarbone. Let's just take five deep breaths in here for one, two, three, four, and five. Great, let's look to the left. Look to the right, look to the left, look to the right, once more to the left as far as you can go. Once more to the right as far as you can go. And then we'll finish by looking straight ahead, reaching out with our right arm, tilting our head to the left as far as you can. So we're trying to lengthen the right side of our neck. Side of our neck. And then drop that arm as you drop the arm, engage the shoulder. Try to pull the shoulder down like you're trying to reach towards your knee. So now you've got this extra stretch in the right side of your neck. We're not going to hold it more than that. You can reach out with your left arm. Let's tilt our head to the right as far as we can. And then slowly drop that left arm down to the side. And then release that. We're going to do it once more. Reach out with the right arm, tilt your head to the left, slowly drop the arm, and actively pull the shoulder down. Try to reach for your knee. And release. And then the last time, reach out to the left, pull your head to the right, slowly drop that left arm down, reach as far as you can, pull the shoulder down. Ah, and release. And that's all the warm up we're going to need for today. 
You'll soon see why. We're going to start with some lateral raises. You can use a, a band. So lateral raise is just a sideways raise of the arm. Uh, whenever you do a sideways raise of your arm, or you're lifting anything up with resistance, don't keep your elbow joint locked out. Keep a little bit of a bend in the joint. So as we do that, we're gonna do one at a time. So I'm gonna stand on the band with my right hand. I'm gonna hold the other hand uh, part with my right. So right foot, sorry, on one end of the band, grabbing the other end of the band with my right hand. Just so you see, as I raise my arm up, I'm also going to rotate the forearm and hand backwards. So the whole movement looks like this. And if the rubber band is too much or you'd like to use a different form of resistance, you can grab a can of beans or a can of vegetables, or a can of anything, as long as the amount of resistance is appropriate for you. We're going to start right away by spelling a word. It's going to be sustenance. It should be above me right now. Let's start from S. So elbow up and then rotation. U, and then reverse that process on the way down. S. T, we're not in a rush here. E. N, A, N, C, E. A little tip, because I like to do this exercise. I've done it in the past. So for the future, uh, when you're rotating the arm back, don't let the shoulder hunch up. Try to keep the shoulder down the whole time. But you don't have to firmly press it down. We're just trying to avoid letting the shoulder the, the delts hunch up towards our earlobe. Let's stand on the other bit and the, on the band with our left foot and hold the other end with our left hand and we'll spell sustenance backwards from E. C. N. A. N. E. T. S, U, S. Excellent. We're not done with the band. Again, you can use the band or the thing cans. Whatever you choose, the form of resistance is a little bit different. It's nice to vary it up though. We're gonna do a front raise. So I think we're gonna stand on the band. We should stand on the band with either foot. It doesn't matter at this point. You're going to Take a little step forward with that right foot, if it's with the right foot. If you're standing with your left foot on the band, step forward with the left foot. And then just try to let your knees bend a little bit. Not a lot, we're not trying to lower down, we're just trying to keep our balance here. The exercise is pretty simple. Keep a little bit of a bend in your elbow and then press those arms up in the air. We're not doing a bicep curl, not yet. We're making the hands reach away from the shoulders, away from the body, and then we're dropping it back down again. Thumbs face the ceiling. We're going to uh, we're going to count on a multiple of 11, starting from zero. 11, 22. Don't just let your arms fall. Control the drop. 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88. 99, 110. Now let's repeat the same movement, but we're going to switch. So whatever foot you were standing on, the band width, we're going to switch to the opposite foot so we keep things even. And we're going to count backwards from 110. 99. Keep a nice, slow, steady pace here. 88. 77. 66. 55, I'm keeping my arms close to the midline of my body. 55, 44, I'm not letting them flare out here. 33, like that. 22, 11, and zero. Now if you have uh, something, you should have a can of beans by now, or if you have a weight at home, you can use a weight for this next one. Or if you're feeling particularly sensitive or weak today, you don't have to use this any extra resistance, but like I always say, I want to see you improve from month to month. 
and season to season. So if you don't use any additional resistance today, add it in a future date. Make sure that you're always trying to make some improvements. So this is a pretty um, straightforward exercise. We're going to rotate and we're going to swing our right arm up. And then we're going to rotate to the right and we're going to swing our left side up. Ideally, you'll have a dumbbell or a, a weight or a can in each hand. There's one additional uh, feature here. If I twist to my left, I want you to try and pick your right heel up. Now, if you're feeling unstable, you don't have to do that. You can keep yourself grounded and twist more through your waist like this. But if you can, I'd really like to see you pick one heel up and then pick the other heel up. All right, just try that a couple times with me. We're going to use a multiple of four and count it starting from zero, four, eight, 12, it's kind of like an uppercut, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, don't stop at 40, we're going to count backwards from 40, 36, it's kind of movement, it's kind of dynamic movement, 32 is really important, 28, 24, 20, but it's pretty easy to lose the ability to do it, 16, so little exercises like this go a long way, 12, it doesn't have to be extremely taxing, 8 to be effective, 4, and zero. You can just go ahead and put those down for the moment, unless you'd like to use them instead of a band for the next exercise. This is going to be, I believe, the last exercise that we're going to uh, perform standing up. I'd like for you to step on the band. If your band is long enough, step on it with both, both feet. If it's not, step on it with one foot, and when we count backwards or spell backwards, you can use the other foot. So we're going to spell the following sequence. It looks simple, but there's a little trick in there. It's C, 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 B, C, B, <laughs> B, 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 uh, C. <laughs> so do your best to try and memorize that and follow along with me. So here we go. It's a biceps curl. So tuck the elbows in, flex the elbow, and then extend. Don't let the elbows move away from the body at this point. Starting at C, C. Again, try not to drop those hands too quickly. C. B, C, B, 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 C, spelling it backwards. Uh, before we spell it backwards, if you need to switch your weight from foot to foot, go ahead and do that. Starting backwards from here officially. C, B, 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 that was C, B, last ones, C, C, C. Excellent work, everyone. You've earned a rest, so let's have a seat on our chair. Okay, so for this one, we've already worked our biceps, the front side of the body, of the upper body. We're going to work the back side of the body. We're going to do some, per some pulling action. So I'd like for you to loop that band under, at the, around the underside of your right foot. And uh, then just go ahead and grip the ends of the band with the, your hands. You can raise the leg if you want some extra work here, or you can let the heel rest on the floor. It's your choice. But what we're going to do is a two-fold action. We're going to pull our elbows back, and then we're going to extend the arms. So if I did this from the side, so you get a better idea, I'm going to pull my hands towards my rib cage. See, my elbows are at least next to me, ideally behind my, my uh, body. And then I'm going to kick my arms back, and then I'm going to send them forwards again. So we're going to do this in a multiple of three, starting at zero. Three, uh, sorry, yeah, three, six, nine, twelve, 
15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. If you go, don't get your elbows that far back, you just get them here. That's all right, you're using the same muscles in the same way. Your range of motion is just a little bit different. So let's switch, put that band around the underside of your left foot and, and count backwards from 30, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, Nine, six, three, oh, and zero. I know you're feeling that in your shoulders by now. That was a tough one. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't the easiest upper body session that I've given you, but I do like to vary it up. As you know, some of my sessions are deliberately easier, some are deliberately harder, and most of them are just in between. We're gonna do one more activity for the day going to be a, a coordination exercise. This one's going to be a little different. We haven't done it yet before. So what I want to see you do is, um, is to do your best to drop the ball and catch it from the top. So you're going to bounce it, try to catch it from the top. As always, if you feel like that's really difficult for you, you can do one or two things. You can try and catch it from the top with both hands. Or you can scoop the hand under if that's still a problem and work on improving that first, okay? There's no peripheral sight training, no extra tapping, just focus on bouncing and trying to catch from the top. Uh, except for, um, except for um, we might as well do a multiple, but let me make it an easy one, it'll be five. So here we go, flex the knees, flex the hips, give yourself a nice athletic stance. We're gonna start from zero, five, Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Now switch hands. Again, if you're catching with both hands, drop it with one hand, with the other hand, and catch it with both. It's counting from fifty. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, one more, and zero. That, again, that wasn't the easiest one. If you didn't catch it, if you did not catch it from the top today, that's all right. Worry about improving and, and, uh, and getting to that level for another day. As long as you're making the efforts to actually perform these exercises, you will, you will notice an improvement. Usually when I have my live classes and I get to see everyone do it, I have a, I have a pretty good memory for these things, so I make little notes about who, who's entering my group and. I can check back and I really see a big difference. After about a two, three month mark, when somebody starts and they just can't catch the ball even once or twice, and then two or three months later, they're dropping the ball a few times here and there, but uh, for the most part, they're catching it. The same will be true for you, just stick with it. I had a lot of fun today, it was a tough session. Thanks for joining me. You should make sure to go and hydrate. It's the hot season now, drink as much water as you can. Until I see you again, make sure to stay active, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye everyone.